Today, Miss Matthews is going to show you how to make a snowflake. Just like this. This is one I already made. The things you're going to need are your round coffee filter, some markers, a pair of scissors, and a small cup of water. Now the first thing we're going to do is take our coffee filter and we're going to color on our coffee filter. Miss Matthews already colored a few. You can do some with designs on it or you can just color in areas on the filter. I'm going to finish this one real quickly. Miss Matthews was making a pattern on this one. So I'm just going to use my markers to color on. And you can do whatever design you want. You can use whatever colors you want. There we go. The next thing you're going to do is a little tricky. We're going to fold it. So the first thing you're going to do is fold it in half. Just like that. So it almost looks like a half circle. Then you're going to fold the ends in. And you may need a little help with this because like I said, it's tricky. So you're going to fold one side in and then the other right on top of it. Just like that. So it almost looks like a piece of pizza or a piece of pie. Then you're going to fold that in half. So you're going to have an open side and then you're going to have a closed side. Now, with your scissors, you're going to start cutting little shapes out of it. The one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to cut all the way across because you want to keep this intact as one piece. Okay, so we're just going to take our scissors and we're going to cut some small shapes, maybe some triangles just like that, or maybe some semicircles like that, or we can do another triangle. And you can do this on both sides. You can, if you want, cut at the very top. Miss Matthews is going to make curves. So let's try doing it on this side. And again, small. And if you need help with it from an adult or an older sibling, that's good too. Okay, so see that? Now what you're going to do, and this is where the magic happens, we're going to take that cup of water and we're just going to put the very tip of our coffee filter, colored coffee filter, in there. And you're going to watch all the water get soaked up into the filter and it's going to mix those colors. Are you ready? Okay, so you gently just put the tip in, hold it in there, and it starts soaking up the water. Slowly. And all those colors, you see the, the water starting to turn those colors? And that's okay, that's what you want, but you just want it to soak it all up. And if you need to, you can turn it over and soak up the other side. See how quickly it does? Oh, look at that. All your colors start to mix together. Now you're gently gonna shake it off. And we're gonna gently open it to see what our snowflake looks like. <gasps> Look at that. And you can see the design that you cut out in it.
And again, you may need a little help with this because it kind of sticks together. But then you're going to lay it out to dry. I'm going to use a, a towel to lay it on. Look at that. So it can soak up that extra water. And after it's dried overnight, it'll end up looking like this. Isn't that pretty? And then you can hang it if you want on your tree or maybe in the window. And I bet if your mom and dad or somebody you know has a lot of co coffee filters, you can make several of them. These I didn't color. I just cut these out. But they look really pretty when you color them. Have fun and enjoy.